I want to get it right. I don't want to rush it and bang it in and say, yeah, I've done it. I've done it all in one day. Put this to use. Work out how big of a hole I've got to dig. I think because this is already dug out in place. Started digging that out. Got that to the right depth to put that beast in. Here's damn art. We're getting there. I'm in the hole. I've got sand. So this is perfect for a soak away. The boy's home from school and now he's helping his dad. Nothing will ever, ever stop me achieving my dream. See, I'm talking with my hands because I don't know what I'm doing. I've had enough. Thank you, mother for the rabbits. Got some special cloth that you have to use. Clean it every couple of months. You just take this basket out. Check that out for a sandcastle. Boosh! So that's what you call an absolute banging start to the day. Lovely bit of sunshine. I finished the video last night, I was here. So I need to dig a trench all the way down. I need to put my sediment chamber in the ground here. And then I also need to build a massive soak away in the ground at the very end of the garden. I mean, it's over 10 meters away from my house. It's gonna be roughly around two meters, 2.5 meters away from my, any foundations that's going into my filter house anyway. And it's the only option that I've got because I've got nowhere else to put the drain. But first job this morning, it's too early for me to be making noise out there in the garden. I'm up early, I need to make sure I get all of these crates built. What I've got here is another three crates like this. I'm gonna build these crates and this is not the only thing that's going in my soak away. I've got a massive big bag of pea chipping, so I'm gonna be putting at least 200 mil to 300 mil at the bottom of my soak away. And I'm also gonna be packing the sides I'm just going to make it the best I possibly can with the tools that I've got and the knowledge that I've done my research on. I'm going to get all these made. They all come flat packed. I got them from a company called Drainage Sales. It's more than happy with the quality of this stuff. Leave the link down in the comment section if anyone's interested. Let's get these put together. Let's put you on a time lapse and let's get these made. really simple to do to be fair absolutely outstanding but it only means one thing that is one hell of a hole i've got to dig it's going to be absolutely huge so a bit unsure whether to go side by side like this or i don't know whether to put these on top of these and then just dig a bigger hole but less of a square footprint before i start the hole but i think it'll be easier to put them in the ground like this that's going to be a hell of a lot of mud i've got to take out plus i'm going to have at least four inches knowing me of uh pea gravel on the bottom, around the side, on the top. It's gonna to be a huge hole, a hell of a hole. But I'll get it done. Let's go and put this to use. Work out how big of a hole I gotta dig. Where we're at, that there's my 90, which will run a pipe across here into my sediment chamber that will take out any of the big debris, blanket weed. It will also take out all of the moss that comes off my gutter in, all of the rubbish out. It will take all of the sediment what will come out of there as this will be pumped around the same route. I mean, I could pump this one round and dig out there, but I'm just as well keep the same channel and put it into here. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think, cause this is already dug out in place. I'm just gonna put a 90 on there, run this in the same channel behind the back of the pond and then run it through here, put a 90 on it and connect it round to the back there. I've got another connection when I dig out, when I put my gully drain in along the front of the pond, that I got somewhere else for that to go as well. And then I got to dig a massive hole here. So it's all been marked out where I got to dig. I'm gonna build it a lot bigger than what the crates are capable for. I'm gonna dig it down a lot deeper. See, I've got all of this pea gravel, absolutely loads of it. Now, a lot of people just use this as a soak away. Well, I'm gonna use a load of that on the bottom probably going to put an extra foot or two foot of that on the bottom of this hole then my crates then pack it with a load of that around the side i've got some special cloth that you have to use that you have to wrap the uh, crates up in i'll show you that i've done my research i've done my own work like i said i'm not a builder but youtube's great for finding out advice of how to do things so this is what i'm going to do it's going to be hell of an idea this chamber here will take out all of my muck sediment into the basket so all of the inlets 
are actually, as you can see here, there's a lip. So the water's got to soak through underneath here. It's got to go through here, sieves out from here, and then it returns out of the return, which is slightly lower than the inlets. And then to clean it every couple of months, you just take this basket out. The jobs are good and, and it'll work an absolute treat. There's a lot of comments I was reading on my last video that why don't I just pump all of my dirty koi pond water straight down to the sewage? Well, the reason why I'm doing all this, if it was as easy and simple as that, then that's what I would do. But in my back garden, I've got no drain. I've got the only waste drain that I had, I thought was down there, which from my last video will explain everything. Thought that that drain used to go to my sewage, but it never did. It went to a soak away. And I've been flushing koi pond water down there for a good 10 years, I would have said. And... I always thought that it went to the front of the house. So you live and you learn, you find out stuff as you're doing stuff. And I've found out a massive thing. So whatever I'm gonna do now will be a massive improvement to what's already there. There's no other option that I've got. My garden's only small. I'm gonna continue with this project. I'm gonna continue to build my dream pond and I'm just gonna do it to the very best that I possibly can. I need to get the spade and I need to start digging. A little bit of an update where I'm at. I've only really been digging for about half an hour. Hell of an odd ground it is. As soon as I get through the topsoil, it's a little bit easier once I get down to about a foot. But I don't need to dig this much deeper. I don't think I'd do anyway. But you wouldn't believe it. That little trench up through there has created nearly half a dumpy bag of earth. It's absolutely crazy, man. So this is going to be a big hole. And this is going to create even more earth. But I've got to do it. I'll get it done. Yeah, so I just wanted to add as well while we're on the subject ahead of these videos so obviously i make content and then i produce the content i edit the content and then i put the content out like a week or 10 days in front from where the actual video that you guys already see so unless i get really really stuck then i'll ask on my facebook page or my instagram page and i've also got a tiktok page now as well so if you're not already there go and join us on tiktok but yeah, I just really wanted to add, because I always get a load of comments saying what I should and shouldn't do. I'm not perfect. I'm not Mr. Right. I don't know. But i got a good head in me, on my shoulders. I try to use what's in my head. And if I get stuck, then I'll ask for 100% certainty. Just stick around, because you see what I get up to. And you see what this pond's going to be like. you got to remember, I've been planning this pond for the last two years. And I know exactly how I want it to be. But... Sometimes along the way, you get some hiccups and you just got to jump over those hurdles. But we'll get it done. But like I said, I very much appreciate every single comment that comes in on my YouTube page. Can't believe I hit over 10,000 subscribers as well. Happy, happy days. Right then. So where we're at, started digging that out. Got that to the right depth to put that beast in. Dummy channel. I might have to take a bit more out, but look at this. One bag, two bag, nearly filled that. And just starting going up through here. But tis getting warm. <sighs> tis hot. Tis damn hot. But we're getting there. I'm in the hole. I'm gaining. And I keep loading up a barrel, taking it round. Loading up a barrel, taking it round. <sighs> Certainly got me work set out today. By the end of it, I know I'm going to sleep well tonight. I'm digging down, I'm a fair way in the ground. Still got a lot to take out. But I just wanted to show you something because there's a lot of people that's concerned about my soil for a soak away. So as you can see, the top layer is clay and then underneath that layer, I've got sand. So this is perfect for a soak away. This just absolutely crumbles into dust. This is exactly what I need for a soak away absolutely perfect conditions and the research that i've done this sand soil is the best stuff you can have for a soak away so i'm going to get to that layer i'm going to keep i'm going to dig it down a lot deeper than what i need to i'm going to overproof it i'm going to make it so damn deep i'm going to be in china within a few hours happy days but i'm loading it into buckets now i'm finding it easier to get into the skips because the skips is getting a bit full but i still got to clear them bags but i'm not worried about that because that's tidy but i'm going to make sure i fill the skip to the absolute maximum i can and then i'll work out he's coming to pick it up in an hour and then i'm going to refill the second skip two skips in one day one man job that's what you call z hammer well 
The boy's home from school, and now he's helping his dad. That's the hammer, boy. That's the hammer. Nine to four to field. Thank you, mother, for the rabbits. Won't affect me, see? Sunshine, rain or snow, I will be out here. Like I said to you in the start of these videos, nothing will ever, ever stop me achieving my dream. I just keep grafting. Doesn't matter how hard it is. Put me in a round. 10 rounds in a boxing match. I will not be defeated. Anywhere, anytime, any place. Hallelujah. Thank your mother for the rabbits. So just as proof of this earth is actually like sand. Check that out for a sand castle. Boosh! Right then. So, just walking back from the last, the very last trip to the skip, I hope. I've took out more than what I would need, just in case I need a backfill with earth anywhere. But let me spin the camera around, show you the day's graft, where I'm at, what I've done. It's been a mental day. The sun's still out, I could keep going. Just coming up to eight o'clock, and well, quarter to, quarter to eight. I need to have a rest, knackered. Let me spin the camera around, show you what's going on. Right then, so a uh, little update because I've been cracking right on. Got the trench or the gully dug out. It's bigger than what it needs to be. But what I'm gonna do, this is already sort of, it's not glued, but I sort of plumbed it. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna run everything that way into there. Leave this one un untouched because if I ever need to get to it or if I ever want to get anything, from there, I just fill it with pea gravel. I can still access that. I might end up taking a little gully out down through here, just connecting a bit of pipe to it, ready to go for the drainage system that's going along there. But yeah, we got a big old, a big, big hole, more than big enough for the soak away. You can see down the layers of the soil that I've gone. But now I'm actually at sand base. So I'm going to spray some water in there. Like a couple of buckets worth. And see what happens to it and how long it takes to get rid of it. I'm not going to put the crates in yet. I've got a bit of working out to do to that. I'm going to, What I'm going to do is put them in. Connect the pipe from the crate. And just leave the pipe there so I can connect this to that. Leave just get it in so then I can fill this in. Because I mean... If someone walks in there who's not supposed to be, whoosh. Yeah, that's a long hole. That's a big hole. But yeah, more than happy with the work today. Certainly coming on. I mean, the biggest part of these jobs is getting rid of it. I mean, that's that was today's graft, was getting rid of it. Hell of a task, really. I mean, you wouldn't believe the amount of times I have walked up and down there today. Do you know that song? Yeah, I have walked thousands of miles. And I'll keep walking more. Still got a lot of working out to do by putting this in place. You know, I want to get it right. I don't want to rush it and bang it in and say, yeah, I've done it. I've done it all in one day. Because I'd rather take my time and do it next weekend. If I do it next weekend, you know, at the end of the day, I've got more time to, you know, I've got more time to work it out. More time to get it right. More time to work out. You know, I'm not a plumber. I'm not a drain inspector. I'm not, I've just done my research and I've done what I think is gonna work. You know, I've got, a, I've got a bit of working out to do. Just trust me, watch this space, see what I get up to and just, just, just bear with me when I get a bit worried about some stuff because there's always a way. 
there is always a way. It's just finding out a way that works for you, if you get me drift. But that being said, I'm going to end the video here because I'm absolutely knackered. See, I'm talking with my hands because I don't know what I'm doing. I've had enough. Thank you, mother for the rabbits. And I'll see you on the next one.